Hello and welcome to Talk Audio TV. Adam Rayner here in what is now the fourth in a series of seven unboxing plus uh, performance videos of different sets of six and a half inch loudspeakers. So far we've had a look at some from MTX, which uh, were kind of the least expensive ones we had, which were quite absurd for the money. And then we've had two pairs from Kicker and this is the third pair. Now, regular viewers may recall that uh, previous video I got highly consternated. It was consternation because uh, I got like confused and stupid and quite clearly wasn't sure if I'd got the speakers confused because each of these three pairs of speakers are something SC670 is where my thumb is on the, uh, the thing here. Now, I have to tell you that there's a uh, KSC670 there's a DSC670, and there's a CSC670. Did you hear me, doorbell? Um, so I had my darling wife is downstairs, and she will answer the door. And the uh, point is, is that the first two pairs of loudspeakers are pretty much identical in chassis and magnet and tweeter assembly. What's different? Hello, it's a best friend around. Got us some girly hello in the back. And, oh, it's live on Talk Audio TV at my home. Um... They shouted they were the same. Now, the fact is, is they weren't quite. The first pair were uh, a tenner cheaper than the second pair. Um, they were both designed for going on to uh, a regular car audio system that might not have terribly many watts and basically, be, basically being more efficient. Sorry, I'm unpacking these. Basically being more efficient and better at turning the watts into music than the speakers that came with your car. Both of them had tweeters that would not protrude out from the grill. They were very shallow. This set of speakers is different. These ones are a tiny little bit more expensive. Let's have a little look at that little reference thing. I've started filming without even having it to hand. It's just so exciting now. I just wanted to get it right. Yes. This pair of loudspeakers is all up to 100 quid a pair which uh, means you're really going to want to see why. They've given up the idea of staying completely flush inside your uh, door um, because uh, there is a bit of protrusion allowed for speaker grills. Let's take the box off here and uh, fling that over that direction, slight straight to the camera. Here is the uh, KSC speakers, coax and uh, three-way speakers as well. Um, leaflet I should say. Oh, I just dropped something out the bottom there. That tends to happen with me. I'm certain I know what it is. This is uh, a little packet of cables and crimps. And the idea is, is that you plug those onto that speakers, solid piece of speaker cable, and there's a little powerful crimpy do so that you can join them into the uh, speaker system of your car without actually having to do any soldering or soldering, as the Americans say. Why do they say solder and herbs? Why, why do they do that? It's like American, it's a strange language. We're so completely separated. Gosh, and I've never felt more foreign in some respects. He's uh, suddenly throwing a meaningless political irrelevance into a prior video. Sorry. Okay, here we go. These are the Kicker KSC 672. First of all, they look kind of sexy. Don't let's get it a little closer. I'll try just for once to leave them in shot for a moment or two. There we go. Do, 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 do. Speakerhead. The grill's rather handsome. And here comes the motor. Doo -doo -doo. There we go. And glowing 4K set of terminals. Now, one thing that's a big difference here is the, the tweeter. Oops, shaking the camera. That goes on the front of these things. It really does matter. You see, it's a pole mount, but if we get it nice and close, the light's still on it. I'm sure you can see that. That's a rather sophisticated dome tweeter. Now, looking at this cone material, it's nice. it looks to be very similar cone material to uh, that which is in the, uh, the other transducers. But this frame, well, it's still pressed still. It still looks good and solid. See the thickness of the cable leading to the tweeter as well. Though. That's, uh, I know it's only the HF, but some people use something that looks like just a spider's little filament. This does look generally a more solidly put together thing. Again, um, one little indicator, check out the top and bottom plates. Serious bits of steel there. And this is about the magnetic maelstrom of Gauss or Tesla. Did you know that Tesla was the term for magnetic oomph? No, no, it's the name of a brand of motor car fat boy. Yeah, Tesla and Gauss, check them out. Um, these do look rather beautifully made, the KSC speakers. Let's have a little quick look at the uh, specifications here. 
Obviously, I've not even remotely looked at this, which I should have had it on. Ooh, they're telling you how to put them on into a car. Look, there we go. Here's how to do it. It was too fast for you to even begin to look at that, wasn't it? Do, do, do. Telling you, of course, that they're coming out of Stillwater Designs in uh, Stillwater. Okay, that's Oklahoma. Ooh, here's a specification. Or you have it in Deutsch. For some reason, I found the German one quicker than I've found the English one. The fact that I can read it in Deutsch is not going to be of any help for you guys. So let's have it in English. Uh, the 670, it's two way, six and a quarter. Do, do, do. It's uh, looking at a proper 100 watt RMS. Um, 90 decibels efficient, which is pretty darn efficient. Um, goes up to 21k on the tweeter, which is uh, indicative that that's a sophisticated bit of HFery there. And uh, what does it say here? The oh, um, they're talking about. Uh, I'm looking at this sailor. This is what it says. It's one of the fabulous. It's of course, near dime. It's a near diamium tweeter, and it's uh, say that is that silk? Is that a silk tweeter? That's blithely giving it all that I'm reading the American, and it of course uh, means that there's multiple languages. And so the bit I really wanted was just inside here. Yeah. The woofer is honest polypropylene, but that is a silk dome tweeter. Let's put that in focus and try and leave it there for a moment or two. Actually, let's do this for you. Hang on. Uh, uh, mm, uh, 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 la, la, la. And go wallop. And the yellow line is the specification of the loudspeaker in question. So if you're a bit of a fan, kicker, leave that in focus now for a moment. Leave it to have a little look if you wish to. Right, that's a boring thing. We can take that away. People could possibly freeze frame it if it hangs still enough in front of my ugly face for long enough. So uh, now what we need to do is plug them on in and check them on out and see if they rock my world for 100 quid and uh, having the kicker name on it. I suspect they just might. Righty-ho, here we have the kickers. That's the uh, KSC uh, 670s. And uh, I've positioned the camera between the two... Uh, test boxes, there's the Morel 4 channel amplifier on there, there's a packaging and uh, old Sony machine playing a bit of a posh disc, let's have a little bit of uh, up all night to be happy. I'm up all night to get some, she's up all night for good fun, I'm up all night to get lucky, we're up all night to the sun. What do you think of that guys? Whoops. Yes, it's uh Starting just how um, rich and sonorous these speakers are. They're 100 quid, less one, and um, they are dramatically, dramatically higher quality than the next ones down. Quite, quite astonishing. Massive, fat, rich bass. Those uh, silk dome tweeters are really a little bit special. And Maria, Talk Audio TV, pretty damn impressed with 100 quid's worth of kickers.